if you're trying to be really green, there is one thing that always could be found in your freezer. Wedgie scraps and meat chunks, or chicken parts titled as useless. Cause guys, that is just perfect for making stock and then a simple but delicious gravy out of it. Watch the video to learn how to make those and you will be grateful you did. So let's roll! I know it's not tempting to throw these scraps in the garbage, it's just a habit. A really bad habit, because these things are super useful and you can make this stock out of them that tastes exactly like a normal chicken stock, so that would be insane to throw these wonderful ingredients in the garbage. First of all I would like to collect a good amount of these scraps and store them in the freezer. I said freezer because you need to keep them as fresh as possible. I know, it's not the most fresh from the freezer, but if you only use a few wedges at one time, maybe one carrot and one onion, that wouldn't be enough for this stock. Of course, if you use a bunch of wedges and chicken at the same time, there's always the possibility to use the scraps right away. So what I have here is some carrot peels, turnip peels, pieces of celery, bell pepper stems, onion, even the skin of some onions. And I've got some chicken wing tips as well. But come on, you can be creative, so you can use literally anything or any byproduct. Zucchini stems, parsley stems, chicken rib cage, bones or whatever you might have in your kitchen. Just make up your mind and tell yourself that yeah, I'm gonna use this part for cooking, so I wash my veggies thoroughly always before using them. Okay, but back to your stock. Throw everything in a pot and top that up with clear cold water and then just simmer it in low heat for at least 30 minutes. Meanwhile, some agri foam and precipitated proteins might occur in the surface of the stock, so if that happens, just grab a strainer spoon and remove all of those things. I cooked my stock for about an hour and I know I got all the flavor from those scraps, so it's time to drain it. Now if you wanna go full green, you can still use these cooked pieces in compost. But here you go, that's the gold liquid you are looking for. You can store this stock in the refrigerator up to one week or in the freezer up to three months. And guys, there are a bunch of recipes where you can use it. So just to be clear, whenever you would like to add water in any savory dish, you can use this stock instead. It's perfect for making soups, sauces, it's good for deglazing, you can also cook your rice in it. Or I go further, you can also cut it and put it into soup dumplings. You don't even need to freeze it if you use enough gelatinous parts of the chicken, like the wings. Or hey, boil the stock until it becomes really thick and freeze it in small batches maybe in an ice cube holder and then you can also use that as a perfect seasoning for any dish and it takes up so little space. But today I'm gonna make a super fast and easy gravy and that's how it goes. I get a large saucepan or skillet, preheat it on low heat, then throw in a tablespoon of olive oil or basically any oil of your choice, then a teaspoon of tomato paste and a tablespoon of mustard, preferably Dijon mustard. Fry those in the oil for a short time and then add 2 cups of stock and whisk everything together until it gets totally combined. Optionally you can pour in a glass of red or white as well before the stock to make the gravy a little bit more fancy and tasty. After that season it with a teaspoon of salt and some freshly ground black pepper. Then simmer it for 5 minutes. Meanwhile I make the thickener solution for the gravy and this one is super easy so let's make it. I get a mason jar and put 3 tablespoons of flour or cornstarch in there together with some cold stock. Maybe 6 or 8 tablespoons? Yeah. I put the lid on and just shake it until it combines. You are looking for a consistency like this. Now what I like to do is to add this paste to the gravy slowly and whisk it continuously. You can add less or more depends on you and your preference. If you like your gravy more thick, just add more. Easy. You can see the results almost instantly as it thickens. You can also throw in some butter to make the sauce more rich or season it with soy sauce if you prefer more salty gravies. Optionally add a tablespoon of brown sugar or some red wine vinegar as well if you like it when it's a bit sweet and a bit sour. So what I like to say now is that you can definitely season this gravy as you wish. I just show you the basic of it. After all of that, just cook it for a minute longer and here you go. Guys, this gravy is super fast to make if you have some stock in the fridge, 
but you can also make it within one hour. So once again, the conclusion, it's environmental friendly, it's easy to make, and of course, it's super cheap. So we cooked on a budget again with other benefits as well. So let's go for it and make. You won't regret. <laughs>